Hello everyone and welcome back. This is my third update on my rainwater harvesting system. I'll also be including an update on my water purification board in this video. And stay tuned for the end of the video. I do have some exciting news about some future videos uh, that I'll be posting. Uh, definitely worth staying tuned in for. So first update you can obviously tell is the covers. Uh, I, last, I put up a video where I had just one cover but now I, I did get three more covers and so the system looks really good now with all the covers on it and I wanted you guys to have a real realistic view of what it looks like if I don't clean my like the top of the tanks for a while if I just leave this out in the weather uh, without touching it and you can see there is a little bit of water on some of my totes here on the covers some leaves I kind of got the um, neighbor's tree overtaken the side of my yard here so it needs to needs a good trim also one other thing I learned um, and I guess something just to, to say is yeah, I did a lot of research before I built this but just because I did all that research it doesn't mean the system is perfect there's always things that could be um, added or changed or modified to make the system work better um, so one thing I learned was this pantyhose filter was really helping me out uh, I took this pantyhose filter out and when I did that the water gripped along the the pipe walls and then would go through the the overflow so this pantyhose filter actually helps direct it down into the tank I would say like I would only catch half of the water when in that pantyhose filter wasn't in there uh, so and that's that's because my overflow isn't set up necessarily the best way it could be set up um, again I did this like a first time where I was learning uh, so something to be aware of all right so let's move on to my water purification board you can see I finally have a front on it and I have sides on it now and I did some painting on it uh, I just hung this uh, piece of plywood right here with some chains and some little hooks obviously in the middle piece there my hook dropped and fell in the mud I lost it so I have to get another one and then I have a couple straps down here just to keep the the board tight against the uh, 4x4 there so this will help block the sunlight and also in, in freezing weather it will really help but we're here in Houston, Texas, and there's not much freezing weather here. And when it does freeze, it doesn't freeze for long or get that cold. So I believe this will be su sufficient enough, but uh, only time will tell. Uh, you can also see I have a few products laid out here on the roof. I have a few more inside. Um, I do have three Rusco spin-down filters. Those are one and a half inch Rusco spin-down filters. Uh, again, another Remco DC pump and then uh, another Dalton Rio 2000 uh, but the newest model and this is from Dalton USA uh, so I contacted all these companies and shared my videos with them and asked them for sample products to make a how-to video series just like I made the how-to video series over the rainwater harvesting so next week I'll be shooting the videos and editing the videos step by step how to build the water purification system uh, except for I'll have upgraded um, products so this is a one and a half inch Rusco spin down filter you'll have to clean it less often because it has so much filter room to catch dirt or debris sediment um, before I had three quarter inch uh, Rusco spin down uh, so I'll go over a lot of this in the um, in the new in the videos coming up but I wanted to share with you guys that this is coming um, a lot of people have asked uh, for the how-to series or for the schematics to make the water purification system looks a lot more complicated than what it is it's fairly simple um, just takes a little bit of time and research to do it but um, coming up soon within the next two weeks I should have at least a few of the um, step one two and three I, th I believe it might be like five to seven steps to build the water purification system but next week I'll be shooting the videos and I'll have them up for you guys soon so uh, thanks for watching and have a great day